you see there's all these beautiful little violets and violets are edible you could eat them just straight off the ground um, making sure you're paying attention to where animals might have been um, but also um, they have a lot of vitamin C they look beautiful in flowers you could even decorate the plate with them to make it look lovely um, I like to eat them in salads so I'm probably gonna harvest some of these to make our salad this evening and also you could see so again this is from the book by Karen M Rose the spiritual herbalism companion and her take on the violet is really cool so i also wanted to share that the joy that comes from being in violet's presence is noticeable violet soothes the spirit and brings forth happiness as a plant guided by ocean venus it is useful spiritually to see one's innate beauty it softens a hardened heart or other places in the body affected by unexpressed anger it is useful for cysts and tumors throughout the body especially the breast and chest so check this out of course read the rest if you are interested in that and give thanks for her wisdom and please buy this book and support her and follow her as well i'll add her information in the description dandelion which i talked about before and dandelion is really nice it's bitter um the leaves and the roots the roots are my favorite because that um, you could roast them and drink it like a tea and it's kind of bitter like coffee. This perspective from the spiritual herbalism companion. Her perspective um, on dandelion since that was one of the beautiful medicinal plants in our own backyard. And you could just see this and I highly recommend getting this book but she says that dandelion's common name is lion's tooth. I use this to draw an analogy. When fed, a lion is satiated and calm. When hungry, and that calm disappears. When we are angry, we are much like a hungry lion. When we are not being fed, heard, seen, and appreciated. Our anger feels like a roar with truths that can devour. Dandelion is the expression of truth. The leaves have jagged edges, much like how truth feels jagged. Truths are rarely smooth. The truth is baseline when learning how to heal from unexpressed anger and its manifestations in the body. So definitely check out this book and we will give her perspective and wisdom about burdock coming up. You can see um, this burdock here, looks like something else was enjoying it as well. But then often you see this stuff, which can get confusing, but you see this is a, this is something else. This is, I think it's called skunk cabbage or something like this. I'll have to look that up. But it looks a little bit different than the burdock leaves. And we're just gonna try to harvest some of this root and let's see if we can do it. So you see some of the burdock that I harvested and it's kind of a, you know, a stubborn, plant sometimes. I mean, the roots go deep and I guess I can't really complain, give thanks and praises for the roots being deep and, and that resilience because just like um, how it has that quality of resilience, it will support that within your system as well. So spring is a really good time to do cleansing and burdock is a really nice herb. Um, I've heard it suggested, you might want to look it up too, to have with sea moss but it's a blood purifier and it's just a really nutritive and nourishing um, plant. So, and it grows in a lot of different places so you can harvest it and be respectful. And, you know, I try not to break the roots, but it is difficult. Some of the couple of them I got all the way kind of to the base, but they were a little bit smaller. But anyway, give thanks and praises for burdock. Check it out and enjoy burdock is burdock is a plant of venus and holds the mirror of truth it reveals the truth about us and our deep-rooted subconscious beliefs habits and emotions in my practice we call burdock truth serum burdock is a taproot plant grow growing deep into the soil touching the ancestors realm it is ready to dig into buried trauma and the truth of old wounds its magic is to bring us this wounding to the surface that we may heal often when we fist excuse me often when we first take burdock we encounter a healing crisis 
where the condition worsens over the f first few days and then becomes better. It is this way that Burdock also works spiritually. The wound has to reveal itself to heal. So a really powerful and accurate perspective of Burdock. And so again, referenced from the Spiritual Herbalism Companion by Karen M. Rose. So you might wonder what to do with that burdock. So make sure obviously you're gonna clean it. I like using a brush to really get all the dirt off as much as possible. Um, and you can dry it and use it as a tea. You could use it fresh and put it as a tea. I like to, um, I like to kind of combine my roots. So I like um, burdock and ginger and um, turmeric as a tea. And, and then you can add a little bit of honey and if you want you don't have to but that's a nice rutical tea so give thanks rastafari